Goodness, did someone blow their engine? Here we go. Huh, that might be the first. Hello, word everyone. That Welcome. Miles an hour. We you. got a uh, C fixed race for you here at Lucas Oil Raceway, also known as Indianapolis Raceway Park. Uh, it's 55 laps. I am starting in the 11th spot in the number 12 truck. Pretty high strength of field here, so good opportunity to earn some points if I can find some positions, which is going to be pretty tough because this is definitely a track uh, where since the, the line's up high, it's really hard to pass here. But who knows? We might get a few cautions. Pit strategy is going to be interesting. And uh, there will be a lot of short track tempers at the end of this one, I'm sure. Short tracks in the trucks are always interesting. But we're going to try to survive. Uh, get your bets in. This thing's starting up. And uh, let's see how this goes. we got one to green right now. Rolling Take through turns one and two. Heading towards the back straightaway. We're going to be looking for where the uh, pace car drops. It's always a good idea to learn where those marks are. I kind of expect that the uh, leader's going to go shortly after pace car. But he isn't. He's a respectful leader. There he goes. Gets a good jump. I'm trying to dig for what I can get on the inside here. Heading down into turn one, going to try to pull a slide job on this 13 truck and get up in front of him because you want to be in the high lane. Very important. And we've already got a caution. That didn't take long at all. <laughs> Welcome to eye pacing at Lucas Oil Raceway. There are the stands. I just, I'm, this is one of those tracks. I love running here, but it makes me sad because the uh, trucks in the Xfinity Series don't run here anymore, and that really does make me sad because the racing here was phenomenal. Um, it was in the rear of the field, the body their tires. So I, you know, I understand why tracks like these lose their NASCAR dates if they're not able to fill seats the, the, then that race date is going to go to a track that can put the butts in the seats um, it is a shame but uh, I always loved it I and and the honestly the thing is is that you know there was an outside wall going into turn one it was much better, in my opinion, when you had the Xfinity Series running at Indianapolis Raceway Park, or the, back then it was the Nationwide Series, Bush Bay National Series would run at Indianapolis Raceway Park, and then the Cup cars would run at Indy. It made, you know, it made it so much more special to see, you know, just the Indy cars running the Indy 500 and the Cup cars running the Brickyard 400. Now that they have all these other events, at Indianapolis, that's pretty good. It kind of Auto Club at night. That sounds pretty diminishes scary. the exclusivity of those top Which series, in my opinion. Um, I always liked when you uh, Is it at night next week? had the oh. yeah the night. Uh, Unfortunately, lost my train of thought. But when you know it was like yeah, one of the things that you got as a reward for quick. getting into those top series was that you got to run at Indy. Um, well, we're going to be able to pull Now that everyone's track, running, race, now that the Xfinity Series is running there too, it just makes it a little bit less special. Um, plus, I always close. like yeah. seeing the variety of tracks. It's, it's always more fun for me on weekends like this where, you know, the cup cars are running at Sonoma and you've got the trucks in the Xfinity Series at Lucas Oil. That's very old school. Um, yeah, I kind of wish they were going and that's how I that's like it. Track. So, I can't believe these guys are already talking about and complaining about what's on the schedule for next week. It's this week right now. It's, it's the first day of this week. You know, enjoy the enjoy the tracks that you're running on now rather than complaining about what's going to be next week. So we got one. We got a half lap of green flag that time. Let's see if we can get a little bit more here. Pace car is. Uh, Definitely leading the most laps so far. Three 
13 trucks trying to get to my inside and put the slide jump on me. I said no. Contact, contact. That's not good. I don't think that, that hurt the truck too much though. Clear, clear, clear. It's another reason why people say this drives like Darlington. You're off the throttle, you're on the throttle, and then you're back off again. There's a wall there. So that was a lot of contact. I need to slow that down. If I only have 4x at the end, I shouldn't lose too much safety rating, if any. There's another spin. It brings out the caution. And now... Are you serious? Oh, shit. Seriously, guys? No, we're really good. Is that seriously happening? It's open. That's a mess. So, uh, what's everyone doing? Looks like you'll be lining up behind this 11. Looks like everyone is staying out. Apparently, track position, they're feeling, I guess, is more important. All right, looks like you're going to be lining up than, behind uh, 11. Than tires right now. Mike Christopher Jr. got turned around there. I wonder what he's gonna do. What's the over under here on how many cautions? Uh, what you can have ten more, maybe nine more. So I guess eight. We'll go eight. Nah, you, you took my number there, John. I was gonna go eight. Well, that's a pretty good number to set the over/under at. Then, if it, you know, it's kind of that should split the difference. It makes it a hard decision. <laughs> Comedy, yay, yeah, yay! Thank you for the follow. Seven, so you said it pretty good. We'll say seven and a half. Will be the uh, the spot. Yeah, I'll take the over on that. That road is closed. I'll take I'll take the under on seven and a half. Actually, I I, I think we're going to get a few laps that run out, and that'll take some of the cautions away. Hey, just a quick uh, thing here. I, I bought this mic. How does it sound? Is it pretty good? You sound pretty cute with it, I gotta admit. <laughs> Sounds a little heck of a lot better than my $10 mic does. Uh, anyway. Come here often. Lots and lots of pace in here. I'm just wondering what that guy, what that person's doing who uh, called me. Hey, what are you doing this weekend, baby? One to go. Here we go. We got a pretty mile. Getting used to the new positioning of uh, where I put the uh, gear indicator and everything up there. So I hope that's more visible for you guys. It's actually kind of in my line of sight now, so I can see what my speed is. So that's helpful. I don't know. You want to come You know, maybe some depth looks I should put it like right in the center of the dash. Here we go. There goes the pace car. When's that leader going to go? Green flag. Nine got a good start and then went up into the wall. Five, four, eight, oh, jeez. <laughs> Sorry, man. Sorry, nine. Check the one on your headset, on your headboard actually, on your you guys side to remember that there's a wall out there? <laughs> one, two, three, loud This is ridiculous. You got a good copy. You hit the wall, man. So that's three cautions. And four. You can fun out, you know what I mean? All right, man, we're well, almost tempted to uh, oh. go to pit road, but oh. pit road, but on the straightaway. I don't have enough, uh, Black out for a I don't think I have too much damage. Not, I'm sorry again, man. I got, I overtook it going into one there, and it locked up. Yeah, your viewers are gonna like that, John. Well, it's definitely been entertaining for the little bit of running that we've got. You know, I promised them some short track tempers. I didn't think I was gonna be causing them. Oh, thank. Well, hell yeah. Pit road will be open. 
Game. Sterling, I'm with you, man. I'm with the Swarth Wilkesboro, too. Up, boy. They'll be lining up behind the B team. Nine's going to pit road. That might be a good idea, actually. I don't know if we're going to have to pit here or not. You guys keep an eye on that uh, nine truck. Um, I definitely want to run the uh, All right, buddy. Line up behind be fixed. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, I'm with you on that, Snarlin. Uh, so keep an eye on the nine truck and see how his progress is moving through the field after getting some fresh tires. Because we did get a couple of green flag laps on these. Um, not much, though. I have used up the right side of this thing. Too many incident points. Uh, definitely hope I can make B-Fix. B-Fix is going to be a lot better at this track, I think. Just trying to keep it clean for the rest of the race. Got to remember that I need to be in learning mode still on this track. I'm trying to get out of all the positions that I can, but I don't need to be roughing people up to get them. Is that Florida Police? I don't know what that is. We're gonna have to come around at seven. But uh, it's gonna be should be two to green when we come by here. How many cars? How many trucks are on the lead lap? We still got 19 on the lead lap. So that's why uh, no one's hey, pitting. That's a lot of uh, a lot of time to give up. These trucks are going to be chewed up and look like they've been through the ringer at the end of this thing. Fortunately, all my hits haven't been too uh, too bad. North Wilkesboro would be really fun in Iris, and yeah, yeah, no, man. Maybe, you know, maybe they can go out there and scan it and, uh, at least, you know, and then put in, you know, simulate some new pavement going down for it or something. They got Rockingham in here, which is nice. Where I want to go, you start on the Honestly, track. that's the track that I, I miss Rockingham even more than Wilkesboro. I love Wilkesboro, but, uh, Rockingham's always been one of my favorite tracks. The racing there was just always so good. So here we go. Still on the inside. Hopefully we can get some good run. I don't know what the two's have to doing. Two. He's practicing have to his uh, restart, two. apparently. Alright, so... There goes the leader. Low line's got it again. Now I'm getting the back of my bumper beaten off by the 7 truck. Did those guys get fresh tires or something? They must have. Seems like they've really got a lot of uh, speed that uh, the rest of us don't. Whoa. I'm in the wall. Okay, so next caution, no matter what, we're going to be pitting. Because I'm falling back so far that the track position's definitely going to be worth giving up. I should have pitted under that last one, I think. I'd be moving forward rather than back. I guess I hurt the dine worse than I thought. It's too bad. Really didn't mean to pinch him up into the wall like that. At least we're still holding it an 8x, so... Oh, there we go again. Oh my god. Alright, so I already did that. Gonna get four tires. And maybe get all the damage repaired. <laughs> Slow enough to make your cut in at the red side of the wall for both turns. Okay. I'll try that. Right now I'm just sort of 
following the line of trucks and trying to gauge what they're doing. Got my jitters out and I'm settling down into learning mode. Pit road open. We start behind the door. Now we got the mix of strategies here. A few folks staying out, a bunch of us coming to pit road. Looking for the number 12 pit board. I'm going to key to the outside. I think that the four is going in before me. Uh, where are where, there are my guys? I think I got him to stall fairly decently there. 40 seconds of repairs. I don't think I need to wait for that. That yeah, gone. we're going. Truck's driving well enough, it ain't hurt too bad. Gonna have some grip now. Nine got his lap back. Up behind the nine. I don't know why he's not uh, pulling into the pit road, though. He'll probably have to drop to the back if he got the lucky dog. So a red sign on the painted wall. Okay, so... Okay, I see what you're saying here. So here I make my cut down and get my run going off the corner. And then same over in three and four. All right, Mike, I will, I will use that marker and see how that works. All right, so there he goes into the pits now. Did I actually, I, yeah, I think I gained spots there since I didn't take my uh, repairs. Two to green. Someone keeping track, is this caution four or five? I said it was going to be under seven and a half. I'm going to be way off. I think this is four. Keep hoping we're just gonna we're actually gonna get some run here. Yeah, I think I think it's four. Uh, we had one. Second one we had a run. Third one was where I slammed the nine into the wall, and then the fourth one was this last one. So yeah, that's four. So we are definitely on pace to go over eight. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> no kidding. It's hard to learn the track at 45. Oh, one to go. But here we go, we got some fresh tires now. Hey, baby. Get behind the 15. Behind the 15. Um, 48.578. Yeah, 48.578. Behind the 15. That's not the lap times we want to be seeing. We want to be a lot quicker than that. Uh, one to green. Down into second gear. Hitting everybody under caution. There's a bag sitting here on the entry into the turn There goes the pace car. Try to avoid that. Get another girl. There goes the leader, maybe? No. There goes the leader. All that stacking up on the restart, man. These restart games are getting old. There we go, that's to cut down at the red sign. I think I missed it a little bit late. God dang it. Yeah, did my radio sound bad out there? Pits are closed. Alright, you're gonna have to come around the nine. They could be lining up behind the ten. Alright, looks like you could be lining up behind the twenty. Goodbye safety rating. I had it all missed too, and then some guy spins right in front of me. Who was that guy who just... I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he did. I don't like that guy. Alright, so now... I am going into the pits, and I'm just going to get all this damage repaired. It's whatever. 12x. If I'm not careful, I'm going to get DQ'd. Let's 
just get the repairs. And I was going to be sitting with some sweet track position to keep it up here. Someone tell me where the pace car is. Going in the three right now. All right. Issue 16. So I can't get all the repairs done because there's the pace car. So I'm going to come back and get them. He ran in the back of me in the process. Those screws up, guys. There's some screws laying right there. Get those screws up right in front of Tony. Don't line up behind the tent. Not even going to get much repairs done here. But it's worth it to just get a little bit more. That's it, go! Three seconds. Why not? Okay, here we go. Alright, looks like you're gonna be lining up behind the 16. One to go. Skipping Lucas Everything Oil. The way it is right now, you're gonna be on the outside. Eh. I'm gonna keep point. running it. All the races aren't gonna be like this. It, uh, I might actually have to run some practice in order to uh, learn the track because you cannot learn this track under yellow, that's for sure. Got a head of steam as we catch up to the back of the pack. Alright. Sixteen took my restart lane away, so I'm going to take his position away. A little smoke, keep it straight, guys. Come on. Outside, outside. Outside, outside. Slide jab on Paul there. That was fun. Oh, no. All right. Red sign, make the turn down. 22.91. 22.9s. Watch that wall. I should have just gone to the outside on the 13. He wants to run me down like that. The wall wants you. All right, 16th place. It's time to settle down, reset. 20 to go. Maybe I do have a little bit too much rear bias in the car. Or I just need to learn how to control it and not We'll have the thing. But 60 is probably the right setting. 59 feels a little bit twitchy. And let's see, lap 37. So this is going to be a disastrous race for both safety rating and I rating as it stands currently. Had a chance until that last track of having a decent race, at least for I rating. Clear. Now that I've caught the 13, I'm going to see if we can figure out how to complete a pass. Nine trucks loose. That guy was wrecking for half a lap and managed to save it. Still there, your door. Still 
outside. Clear high. And there's a pass. It's about as clean as it's probably going to get at this track. like I'm gonna I might I got a shot at still getting right on that under on cautions it'll be less than seven and a half figured once we got running for a little bit that we could keep it green and click laps off and they do click off pretty quickly here once okay. you get going I would hate to see what the uh, low strength of heel field splits look like when a high one does look like this. This race has been pretty gnarly. Trying to run down that nine truck. Things handling pretty decent still. I'm not hitting the wall, even though I'm riding right out close to it. Kind of overdriving the corners. I need to back up my brake point a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I'm losing time still. Not sure if the truck's hurt bad or if I'm just bad at the track. My line's a little bit off. It's tempting to try to downshift there. The RPMs are pretty low. 22.863. Does it seem like that was faster there? there. Anything that I gained in revs looks like I'm losing anyway by being timid with the throttle. could really use a caution now. Get close back up and get one more run at it. Uh, at the same time, I really don't want another opportunity to do more damage to my safety rating, so I'll probably cut my losses and work with what we've got here. Good news is it looks like the thing's going to finish in time for us to uh, get the B-fixed race. Right out by the wall. Another good corner. 23.035. Starting to reel these guys in. I'm just not going to have the time to actually catch them. Remember how I always stress the importance of wreck avoidance? This race came down to it. If I would have missed that wreck, I would have been in line for a pretty good finish. Getting caught up in that last one, killed it. If we got time, I might actually take a quick look at that and see if we can find a way that I could have picked a line through there. Oh, almost drove up and over the wall there. Not a good three and four. Trying to get it right out next to the wall. 
There we go. That momentum running on the high side. That's not how to do it. All right, two more to go. Let's just bring this thing home intact. White flag this time. White flag. Well, we hit the under on yellows. No way. Anyway. I wish people knew how to pass without, like, beating shit out of somebody's door. I'll take the results on the bottom. First time I raced on here. This track. Yep. Gonna, gonna have some better races than that here. Yeah, we're in the wall for the lead. Still you. Fucking awful. Friday was fucking awful. I mean, <laughs> you know, it all starts on our part on Friday too, but so we'll we'll get qualified better. We'll do what we can with the pit stop. Yeah, I wish I could blame that on pit stops. That was all me. All driver. All right. Every time one main you never even thought I showed that neck cut or something. Nice win, Mike. Congrats, man. All right.